DiCaprio. Height, 1.83 m weight, 7 kg. Net worth, $245 million. Leonardo Wilhelm DiCaprio born November 11, 1974, is an American actor, film producer, and environmentalist. He has been nominated for six Academy Awards, four British Academy Film Awards and nine Screen Actors Guild Awards. Winning one of each award from them and three Golden Globe Awards from 11 nominations. DiCaprio began his career by appearing in television commercials in the late 1980s. He next had recurring roles in various television series, such as the soap opera Santa Barbara and the sitcom Growing Pains. He debuted in his film career by starring as Josh in Critters 3, 1991. He starred in the film adaptation of the memoir This Boy's Life, 1993, and received acclaim and his first Academy Award nomination for his supporting role in What's Eating Gilbert Grape, 1993. He gained public recognition with leading roles in The Basketball Diaries, 1995, and the romantic drama Romeo and Juliet, 1996. He achieved international fame as a star in James Cameron's epic romance Titanic, 1997, which became the highest grossing film of all time to that point. Since 2000, DiCaprio has received critical acclaim for his work in a wide range of film genres. DiCaprio's subsequent films include The Man in the Iron Mask, 1998, the biographical crime drama Catch Me If You Can, 2002, and the epic historical drama Gangs of New York, 2002, which marked his first of many collaborations with director Martin Scorsese. He was acclaimed for his performances in the political war thriller Blood Diamond, 2006, the neo-noir crime drama The Departed, 2006, the espionage thriller Body of Lies, 2008. The drama Revolutionary Road, 2008, the psychological thriller Shutter Island, 2010, the science fiction thriller Inception, 2010, the biographical film J. Edgar, 2011. The Western Django Unchained, 2012, and the period drama The Great Gatsby, 2013. DiCaprio's portrayals of Howard Hughes in The Aviator, 2004, and Hugh Glass in The Revenant, 2015, won him the Golden Globe Award for Best Actor, Motion Picture Drama. His performance as Jordan Belfort in The Wolf of Wall Street, 2013, won him the Golden Globe Award for Best Actor, Motion Picture Musical or Comedy. He also won the Academy Award and BAFTA Award for Best Actor for his performance in The Revenant. DiCaprio is the founder of his own production company, Appian Way Productions. Early Life Leonardo Wilhelm DiCaprio was born on November 11, 1974 in Los Angeles III the only child of Irmlin, nay in Den Birken, a legal secretary, and George DiCaprio. An underground comics artist and producer and distributor of comic books. DiCaprio's father is of Italian, from Elif, and German, from Bavaria, descent. DiCaprio's maternal grandfather, Wilhelm in Den Birken, 1913-1995, was German. His maternal grandmother, Helene in Den Birken, born Yelena Smirnova, 1915-2008, was a Russian-born German citizen. In an interview in Russia, DiCaprio referred to himself as half-Russian and said that two of his late grandparents were Russian. DiCaprio's parents met while attending college and subsequently moved to Los Angeles, California. DiCaprio was named Leonardo because his pregnant mother was looking at a Leonardo da Vinci painting in the Uffizi Museum in Florence, Italy, when he first kicked. His parents separated when he was a year old, and he lived mostly with his mother. The two lived in several Los Angeles neighborhoods, such as Echo Park and Los Feliz, his Los Feliz residence was later converted into a public library. While his mother worked several jobs 5 DiCaprio attended Seeds Elementary School, now UCLA Lab School, 
and John Marshall High School a few blocks away. After attending the Los Angeles Center for Enriched Studies for four years, he dropped out of high school following his third year, eventually earning his General Equivalency Diploma, GED. DiCaprio spent part of his childhood in Germany with his maternal grandparents, Wilhelm and Helene. He is conversant in German and Italian. Career 1979-1990, Career Beginnings In 1979, DiCaprio was removed, at the age of five, from the set of the children's television series Romper Room for being disruptive. He began his career by appearing in several commercials and educational films, following his older stepbrother Adam Ferrer into television commercials. And landing an ad at age 14 for Matchbox Cars by Mattel, which he considered his first role. Throughout his teens he was seen in commercials for Kraft Foods, Bubble Yum, Apple Jacks, and many more. In 1989, he played the role of Glenn in two episodes of the television show The New Lassie. In 1990, he started acting regularly on television. This started with a role in the pilot of The Outsiders, and one episode of the soap opera Santa Barbara, playing the young Mason Capwell. That same year, DiCaprio got a break on television when he was cast in Parenthood, a series based on a successful comedy film by the same name. His works that year earned him two nomination at the Young Artist Award in Best Young Actor in a Daytime Series, Santa Barbara, and Best Young Actor starring in a new television series, Parenthood. DiCaprio was also a celebrity contestant on the children's game show Fun House. One of the stunts he performed on the show was going fishing in a small pool of water by catching the fish only with his teeth. Minus 1991 to 1996, Major Projects and Breakthrough In 1991, he played an uncredited role in one episode of Roseanne. Later that year, DiCaprio's debut film role was in the comedic science fiction horror film Critters 3, in which he played the stepson of an evil landlord. A role that DiCaprio described as your average, no depth, standard kid with blonde hair. Released in March that year, the movie went direct to video. Shortly after, he became a recurring cast member on the successful ABC sitcom Growing Pains, playing Luke Brower, a homeless boy who is taken in by the Seaver family. DiCaprio was nominated for the Young Artist Award for Best Young Actor co-starring in a television series. In 1992, alongside Drew Barrymore, Sarah Gilbert, Tom Skerritt, and Cheryl Ladd, he played a supporting role in the first installment of the Poison Ivy film series. It was nominated for the 1992 Grand Jury Prize of Best Film at the Sundance Film Festival and received a nomination at the Independent Spirit Awards. In 1992, DiCaprio was handpicked by Robert De Niro out of 400 young actors to play the lead role in This Boy's Life adapted from Tobias Wolff's memoir of the same name. He played opposite De Niro, who was acting as his stepfather, and Ellen Barkin as his mother. The film was directed by Michael Cotton Jones and released in 1993. In 1993, DiCaprio co-starred as the mentally handicapped brother of Johnny Depp's character in What's Eating Gilbert Grape, a comic tragic odyssey of a dysfunctional Iowa family. Director Lasse Hallstrom admitted he was initially looking for a less good-looking actor but finally settled on DiCaprio as he had emerged as the most observant actor among all who auditioned. Budgeted at 11 million US dollars, the film became a critical success, resulting in various accolades for DiCaprio who was awarded the National Board of Review Award and nominated for both an Academy Award and a Golden Globe Award for his portrayal. The New York Times critic Janet Maslin praised DiCaprio's performance, writing the film's real show-stopping turn comes from Mr. DiCaprio, who makes Arnie's many ticks so startling and vivid that at first he is difficult to watch. The performance has a sharp, desperate intensity from beginning to end. DiCaprio's first effort of 1995 was Sam Raimi's The Quick and the Dead, a Western film.
Sony Pictures was dubious over DiCaprio's casting, and as a result, co-star Sharon Stone decided to pay the actor's salary herself. The film was released to a dismal box office performance, barely grossing 18.5 million US dollars in the US, and received mixed reviews from critics. He next starred in Agnieszka Holland Total Eclipse, which he co-lead with David Thewlis. The feature is a fictionalized account of the homosexual relationship between Arthur Rambo, DiCaprio, and Paul Verlaine, Thewlis. He replaced River Phoenix, who died during pre-production on the project. A minor art house success. The film grossed 0.34 million US dollars throughout its domestic theatrical run. His last film of the year 1995 was The Basketball Diaries, co-starring Lorraine Bracco, James Matteo, and Mark Wahlberg. It is a biographical film in which DiCaprio plays Jim Carroll in his teenage years as a promising high school basketball player and writer who developed an addiction to heroin with his misguided friends. In 1996, DiCaprio appeared opposite Claire Danes in Baz Luhrmann's film Romeo and Juliet, an abridged modernization of William Shakespeare's romantic tragedy of the same name, which retained the original Shakespearean dialogue. The project achieved a worldwide box office take of $147 million. Later that year, he starred in Jerry Zach's family drama Marvin's Room, reuniting with Robert De Niro. Based on Scott McPherson's screenplay adaptation of his own 1991 stage play of the same name, the film revolves around two sisters, played by Meryl Streep and Diane Keaton who are reunited through tragedy after 17 years of estrangement. DiCaprio portrayed Hank, Streep's character's troubled son, who has been committed to a mental asylum for setting fire to his mother's house. 